Heather, thanks so much. The family and friends of Alpha Barry packed a mosque in the Bronx last night, praying and weeping as they remembered the 11 year old's life. He, along with a friend, 13 year old Garrett Warren, were both found in the water after going missing nearly two weeks ago. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is in Harlem this morning where the two boys originally went missing. Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Shirley. Yeah, friends and family continue to grieve, and the investigation goes on as well. And detectives say they now have a better idea of exactly what happened on the edge of the Harlem River that day uh, because they've been able to talk to two key people, one of them including the 13-year-old friend who was with the two boys. Now, the 13-year-old told detectives that Alpha Barry and Garrett Warren were horse playing near the water, and that's when he saw Garrett trying to push Alpha into the water, but they both ended it up falling in. The friend then left to find an adult, and that adult, that person, called 911. Police continued to search the water until they found Garrett's body in the Harlem River last Thursday, uh, and then Alpha's body in the Hudson on Saturday. Detectives have since been able to talk to that 911 caller as well to verify the story. Meanwhile, friends and family continue to grieve. Uh, people gathered at a mosque yesterday as they prayed and cried for 11 year old Alpha. A young boy who had hopes of becoming an engineer when he grew up. There's also another memorial plan for this afternoon at Democracy Prep Middle School where Alpha attended. This is someone who did not just care about himself, but also cared about his siblings and also the people around him. He made people, he smiled at everyone. He was funny, bright, witty, inquisitive, and brave. The medical examiner ruled Garrett's uh, cause of death as accidental drowning. Meanwhile, Alpha's uh, cause of death has not yet been determined.